Okay, super quick video here. I'm going to show you how to level up your design with Claw Code. This is something you'd expect potentially of a production grade habit tracker. And we've done it in two prompts. As you can see, we've got quite a basic design here. I'm going to show you how to install Claw Code skills, specifically the design skill. I'll show you how to install that here through GitHub, and then I'll show you how to use it. It's very simple and you can get incredible results. So the first thing you're going to want to do is come to Claw Code, run Claude. As you can see, we've got running here. And we're going to forward slash into plugin plugins marketplace and here you're going to want to click add marketplace and then as you can see it's asking for a link github link or some other sources so if you come to this repo here and i'll include a link to this github.com forward slash anthropic forward slash skills and then you're going to paste that in there and it will install those skills if you just click example skills then it will just this is all we need. And it's basically like the demo of skills. So we'll install that now. And here it says restart Claude code to load new plugins. So we'll exit out of that and then we'll run Claude again. And then if you go back to plugins and click browse and install plugins, you can come here and install the example skills. So that will install all the ones we just did. And then if you ask it to check if we've got the front end design skill, you could say, hello, do you have the front end design skill and basically what this is it's like a power up to Claude code it's like a special ability if you like so here it says it has access to the front end design skill and we've got a few different versions and here you see we've got the example skills front end design so we've got a couple of them there but that's fine don't worry if yours does not look like that so as you can see we've got our dashboard here and if i click sign out then we've got a landing very basic landing page so let's give them both a makeover don't worry it's not going to take long okay great so if we go into our dashboard here and then I'm going to say, can you do an overhaul? And I'll zoom in here. Can you do an overhaul of our dashboard using the front end design skill? Give me some options of the vibe to go for. And what we're going to get back here, hopefully, is a few different options. It will ask me what direction I want to take the design in. So we're still a bit involved in the process here. And if you're feeling lazy, you can just go straight into it without any options and it will do a great job. And basically how this works is it gives Claude a bunch of instructions about different design principles with spacing, with fonts, with motion design, which will then inject into your design process and really level up. And I've seen some incredible results on this. So it's given us a few options here. What have we got? We've got dark mode, minimal, warm and organic, bold and playful, neo brutalist. Let's go for dark mode, minimal. Why not? It's nighttime. So we'll punch that in and then let it get to work. And as you can see, it's saying the front end design skill is running, which is telling us that it's in communication with those extra resources, those extra instructions to level up your design. So now we'll wait and let Claude cook. So I'll start implementing the dark mode minimal redesign. Let me begin with the global CSS. And again, there's a bunch of different paths we can do here to level up your design. We can use external tools like Gemini 3 or V0 and then create components, bring them back in. We can install Shad CN and use different tweak CN themes. But as of the 27th of November, this is the easiest and arguably the best way to level up your designs, especially to go from maybe a basic combat chef or starter app template to actually getting something that looks money. Okay, so as you can see here, it has completely transformed this dashboard. The main layout is still similar, but you can see we've got much more of a modern theme. And if we go back to our landing page, Again, it's applied this dark theme, but as you can see, it's kept the layout pretty similar. So we can ask it a follow-up prompt to say, can you please, using design skills, improve the layout of the dashboard and the landing page? And it's always important to actually ask it and specify to use the skill. Otherwise, it may not do it. And by the way, we are using Opus 4.5 here. It's a new model that dropped this week as of recording. Super strong model and works very well with the front-end design skill. Okay, so with that follow-up prompt, we've already done some cooking here. The first prompt just added a new color scheme, didn't do much, but this second prompt has completely changed it. So by asking it to change the layout, we've got a really nice hero here with some nice custom components here with a nice animation. The form field for the convex login is still a bit funky, so we can obviously ask it to fix that up. We've got a nice bento grid here again with our sign-in. So let's go to the dashboard again. This did this all within the follow-up prompt. Super nice dashboard here. As you can see, simple but clean at the same time. And to be honest, it's quite hard to actually design dashboards, especially with empty states. Let's see here, we'll add this habit, create habit, 
come and tick that and then come back to dashboard. Look at that. This is something you'd expect potentially of a production grade habit tracker. And we've done it in two prompts. Imagine what you can do with an hour or two of prompting with this design skill, maybe with some reference images as well, because obviously you can paste screenshots into claw code and get that to replicate or be inspired by different designs. So yeah, hopefully that's shown you how to level up your apps. And it's a well-timed video because front-end skills is super powerful. And to be honest, it's being slept on. Not many people are using it. I think Claude is going to keep pushing the plugins. So get ahead while you can get your edge and get your apps looking super strong, as you can see here. And yeah, there you have it. All the best. Enjoy.